So the next reaction in the list is Heisenberg's reaction or Heisenberg's test. Basically, this reaction is used as a test to differentiate or to identify one degree, two degree and three degree amines. What happens is, suppose I have an amine and I make this amine to react with phenyl sulfonyl chloride like this. So uh, we know what is going to happen here. The sulfur has plus charge polarity. So this nitrogen is going to attack this sulfur and it, it will be a simple nucleophilic substitution reaction and this chlorine will come out to facilitate the regeneration of S double bondo. We know this, we have done this, no problem. The plus charge that was developed on this nitrogen, this nitrogen is dispenses of that plus charge by removing H plus and that's how you get this. Fine, so this will be a phenyl sulfoxamide. It is a sulfoxamide. It is a kind of amide, not amide, but it's a sulfoxamide because it's a amide made of from sulfonyl chloride. Fine. So now you have this. That means one degree amine will show reaction with phenyl sulfonyl chloride. So will two degree amine. If you have a two degree amine and if you make this two degree amine to react with phenyl sulfonyl chloride, then also this nitrogen will act as a nucleophile, will attack this sulfur, S double bond will break, Cl minus will come out, S double bond will be regenerated, the plus charge developed on nitrogen, that plus charge will go away when H plus go away. So what you will have is this. Now the reaction will occur with both 1 degree and 2 degree amine. But the reaction will not occur with 3 degree amine. If we have a 3 degree amine like this, and if we attempt to react this 3 degree amine with phenyl sulfonyl chloride, then sulf nitrogen here of course has a lone pair and of course it can give its electron to sulfur atom. But the problem is when it gives its electron to the sulfur atom, the plus charge that is developed on that nitrogen Nitrogen do not have a mechanism to get rid of that plus charge because it do not have a hydrogen which it, it can throw away to get rid of that plus charge which 1 degree and 2 degree amine had. So 1 degree and 2 degree amine will successfully react with sul phenyl sulfonyl chloride. But if you make this 3 degree amine to react with phenyl sulfonyl chloride, what can form is this and here nitrogen will develop a plus charge because it will make a fourth bond and in that fourth bond nitrogen has given its electron. Now because being electronegative this nitrogen cannot carry this plus charge for long so the reaction would be reversible and you'll get back your phenyl sulfonyl chloride and this 3 degree amine. So there will be no net reaction between 3 degree amine and phenyl sulfonyl chloride. So there will be no reaction, we say, between 3 degree amine and phenyl sulfonyl chloride. There would be reaction between 1 degree amine, 2 degree amine and phenyl sulfonyl chloride. So the first stage is this. You make whatever amine you have to react with phenyl sulfonyl chloride. If that do not react with phenyl sulfonyl chloride, then it is confirmed that that's, is, that is a 3 degree amine. So it's a test. In the first step of the test, you can identify whether it's a 3 degree amine or not. If it doesn't react, it's a 3 degree amine. If it does react, it can be 1 degree, it can be 2 degree. Then we'll go for step number 2 to differentiate between 1 degree and 2 degree. So from the first step, you will confirm that the given amine is 3 degree or not. If it reacts, it is not 3 degree. If it doesn't react, it is 3 degree. Fine. So in the first step, it is confirmed whether the given amine is 3 degree or not. Now, if it reacts, then it can be 1 degree amine or it can be 3 degree amine. Now we have to do further tests to identify whether it's a 1 degree or 2 degree. Now, if it's a 1 degree amine, nitrogen still has one hydrogen. If it's a 2 degree amine, nitrogen do not have any further hydrogen. 
So this is what we uh, use for further differentiation. Now, if you make these sulfoxamide to react with a base, now base abstracts hydrogen, and in this uh, phenyl sulfoxamide of two degree amine, there is no alpha hydro, there is no acidic hydrogen as you can see. There is no hydrogen on electronegative atom. The hydrogen on this R and this phenyl ring are not acidic. So there is no acidic hydrogen for this base to react with. So this base is not going to react with this phenyl sulfoxamide corresponding to two degree amine. Now here, the nitrogen has one hydrogen, so that hydrogen can be abstracted by the base and base can sh show some reaction with that phenyl sulfoxamide corresponding to one degree amine. So this is what happens. Now if there is no reaction, suppose you have two substance, this is a base and inside you have amides. Now if these two do not react with each other, then they will not be, one will not be dissolved in other. So these amides will not get dissolved in amine. For example, if you add sugar in water, then sugar reacts with water, react in a sense that it forms hydrogen bond. There is a hydration of sugar molecule uh, by the water molecule and that sugar molecules, the crystal starts to break and then it gets dissolved because when the crystal breaks, we can't see that crystal anymore because when the crystal breaks to the molecular level, we can't see that and that gets dispersed throughout the water and that's what dissolution is. So if sugar is getting dissolved, that means something is happening between sugar and water molecules. Now if there is nothing happening between base and the sulfoxamide, then there will be no dissolution. So this will not get dissolved in base for the reason that base is not reacting with this. So if you add the sulfoxamide that you have formed um, into a alkali, into a base, and if it doesn't get dissolved, then that's a two degree amine. And if it does get dissolved, that's a one degree amine. That's what the test is all about. This is what Heisenberg test or Heisenberg reaction is. So to just uh, uh, underline the important point in this Heisenberg reaction, you make the amine to react with phenyl sulfonyl chloride. If there is no reaction, it's a three degree amine. If there is some reaction, it can be one degree amine, it can be two degree amine. Now with the phenyl sulfoxamide that you have caught, if you make that to react with a base, if it does get dissolved, it's a one degree amine. If it doesn't get dissolved, it's a two degree amine. That's how using both the steps, we can identify whether, whether the amine given is one degree, two degree or three degree. All right, all right.